Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. Today, we're talking about leadership and toilet paper. Yes, we are right here. Are you ready? Let's go. Over the past number of months, I've done a number of mashups of leadership with other random topics. It all started with some people on my team challenging me, and then it went all the way to being a whole series of videos over time. We even have a whole playlist on YouTube where you can check them out. This one comes from Jose Luis who said, Kevin, what about leadership and toilet paper? I don't know whether to thank Jose or to wonder if he hates me. I don't know which it is, but either way, challenge accepted. And as long as you keep the cynicism out of it, let's see if we can make something valuable out of this. Leadership and toilet paper. Okay, here we go. Leadership and toilet paper are necessary. They're both necessary, right? Well, I don't need to tell you why this is necessary, but I, I can tell you this, that if we have leaders, things will go better. Now, if you don't have this, there are other materials you could use. I don't think you want to pick those things. Just like I don't think you really want to have a team without having a leader. Leaders are necessary and help us make better decisions, help us move forward. At the end of the day, leaders help us get better outcomes. And that's what we are after, right? Second, leadership and toilet paper are in demand. Well, now this stuff was clearly in demand during the early parts of the lockdown, right? Like shortages of toilet paper, it was in demand. We got to have the TP and we got to have leaders. Leaders are in demand. The leaders who are most effective are of, in great demand and have great value. Strive to be that kind of leader. You see, there's lots of kinds of toilet paper. You know, there's like the two ply and then there's the better ply. So there's different kinds of toilet paper. There's different kinds of leaders. And hopefully you strive to be the kind of leader that will make the best, different, biggest difference and make the best outcomes. Next, leaders and toilet paper don't last forever. Yeah, eventually this role is going to be gone. It's going to be finished. And as leaders, we have a shelf life too. Hopefully it's longer than that roll of toilet paper. But the reality is that leaders don't last forever. Most of us as leaders will find ourselves moving to a new team. And sometimes we need to move to a new place. The team needs fresh blood. Doesn't mean we're an ineffective leader, but there's a, there's a, there's a time when it's ready, uh, when, when the team needs something new and we're ready to move on to something new. Leaders and toilet paper don't last forever. And lastly, leaders and toilet paper must do some dirty work. Okay, I'm not going to say much more about that on the TP side. But on the leadership side, the best leaders are willing to, to roll up their sleeves and go to work. And sometimes there's work that they have to do that's hard, that's dirty and nasty and difficult and conflicty and all those sorts of things. As leaders, we've got to recognize that sometimes there's hard things, unsavory things, things we'd rather not have to do that we do need to do. Now, normally at this point in a Remarkable TV episode or an episode of the Remarkable Leadership Podcast, I would summarize. I'm not really sure how I summarize leadership in toilet paper, but I have talked about four important things. Leaders are necessary and the best leaders are in demand and uh, we have a shelf life before we need to move on to help other teams or to continue to change out the, inter the interpersonal relationships and the people we work with. And lastly, as leaders, sometimes we have to do some hard, dirty stuff. Let me close with today's tweet. The best leaders are like toilet paper. They are available to do the dirty work. Each week right here, we record another episode of Remarkable TV and we repurpose those on the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. If you'd like to watch them each week, you can join us right here on this page. You can subscribe. If you're listening to the podcast, you're probably already subscribed there. And either way, we're glad you're here and we hope you'll be back next week for another episode of Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast.